Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 2. This one was called The Passenger. Uh, and this episode was directed by Peyton Reed. He's the one also, he directed uh, the first uh, two Ant-Man movies. Uh, so I thought this this was a pretty good episode. Obviously was not um, as good as the previous episode where they were on Tatooine uh, to Timothy Alfon, I thought that was a really excellent episode, episode to open the series. Um, so I could see how people could view this one as kind of a more of a uh, like side mission kind of story or a standalone story. Um, but I think it, I think it was overall, I think it was good. It was still I think it's still good Star Wars episode, even though I think it didn't quite live up to uh, the previous episode. Um, so basically in this episode, uh, so Mando's coming back with Baby Yoda. That he's, got, he's on a speeder bike there in Tatooine, and then they get ambushed um, by a bunch of mercenaries uh, or bandits. Uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if they were just random bandits or if they were there specifically to capture Baby Yoda. Uh, so they basically destroy his speeder bike. One of the bandits takes, so he he fights off all the bandits except one of them, and one of them takes a uh, little baby Yoda hostage, and he's like, and he's like, okay, I'll do a trade. Uh, he, I'll here take my jetpack in exchange for hit for Yoda. So he does that. And he, but the uh, of course that that bandit didn't realize that he's got a remote control for the for the uh, jetpack, so he uh, hits it, and the guy goes flying up in the air, and then he stops the jetpack and the guy just falls to the to the ground dead so i thought that was really funny that was a really funny moment there he then once again he's uh outsmarting uh bandits but um then of course that forces him to walk back uh all the way back to the village there with uh the baby yoda and all his stuff he had to walk through the desert so and of course that always made me want to think like how do Mandalorians drink water if they got you know if they got their helmet on the entire time and he's walking through a hot desert i, I think you would just you know, you just pass out <laughs> from the heat stroke. Like that, would, you would you would last like half an hour in that sun. You know, two suns basically with no water and with this heavy heavy gear on, you would just pass right out. But you know, whatever. It's it's Star Wars. So, anyways, um, so he gets back there and he runs again to uh, Amy Sedaris's character, and he's still and he's still on his mission to find other Mandalorians. And so basically, uh, she. She's like, okay, so she gets information. She helps him get information from other characters, um, and to guide him to what planet he could probably find the next uh, Mando. Um, and so, but basically, she said before that, uh, I, you got to do me a favor. There's this, there's this lady here. She's kind of she's a frog lady, and she needs she needs transport to this other planet where uh, she and her husband have decided to lay their eggs. She's got like a big jar full of eggs. That her, I guess, her offspring, and she has to bring them to a certain planet to hatch. That's where they decided to have their kids, and so he, um, so he kind of, you know, reluctantly agrees to this. Now it's funny that uh, I've heard people say that you know they really don't like Amy Sedaris's character here as, as the traitor. I mean, I thought she's perfectly fine. Um, you know, there's always kind of eccentric, you know, characters in Star Wars that kind of do their own thing and you know, kind of out there. And I, I find nothing wrong with her too, especially if she's only in two episodes. She's not that she's not that big of a character, so I, I don't mind her at all. At least that's that's just my personal feeling on that. I thought she does a pretty good job. So anyway, so uh, yeah, so she has to con she has to talk to this frog lady and you know that like a ribbit language, whatever the heck it is, and so he, he agrees to take her. Um, so they're flying in space, and then but he has to fly slow because of the eggs, and so anyway they get then they get accosted by two X-wing pilots. And they want they want Hitmondo's uh, credentials. They want to verify he's not former Empire or a criminal or something like that. So, um, and so you see the it's a great moment too. You see their wing expand with the guns and everything. It's like uh oh, you know, shit's gonna go down. So, uh, excuse me, I'm French there. But uh, so basically, then he runs. So they pursue him down to this planet. And I thought it was a really good scene where he's going in, in between canyons, trying to dodge them, trying to lose them, and he ends up crashing into this cave. To lose him, and but it's like this frozen cave, and it's really cold down there. And so his uh, ship is kind of out of out of commission there for a bit. So they're stuck there in this cave, and so basically the the frog uh, after a while, the fr you know, uh, frog lady uh, actually get, uh, ends up getting one of the droids um, there that's prison and using it to speak English to him and say, "Hey, 
uh, you promised me that you were going to take me to this planet, you were going to help me out, I thought, you you know, your word should be your bond, what are you doing, and so he decides, okay, from that, he says, okay, fine, I'll help this lady, I won't just give up, um, so he has to prepare up, what he does, she wanders off, and so, uh, and, have to, and it's funny, too, because during this time, while she was away, uh, and, and even while they were sleeping and stuff, uh, Baby Yoda, the whole time, he's up to mischief, and he's eating some of the eggs out of the jar. <laughs> he's in mind, he's like, don't do that, it's not yours. I thought that was really funny. Um, so anyways, so they go find her in, uh, in the other part of the cave, but then also, while she's chillaxing in this uh, hot, um, in, like a hot pool of there, and while he's doing that, then um, little uh, Yoda, of course, goes and he eats what looks like a big like a big egg sitting there kind of and he just leaned inside of it would totally remind me of a scene from aliens you know where the little where the baby aliens pop out well basically yeah what it was is he ate a baby spider and there was a whole bunch of other eggs there and of course when he did that all the other sacks started opening up and a whole bunch of spiders coming out so they had to get out of there and then of course there's uh there's you know there's small spiders there's like human sized spiders and then there's a gigantic big spider i think it's supposed to be big mama spider that's coming after them, and so it came basically like a big monster. They had, you know, just like the crate dragon in the last episode. This is the big monster they have to uh, fight off in this episode. They're sitting there shooting and uh, killing these spiders, and so they have to escape to um, and escape to the ship. And it looks like because they, they, the spiders invade their ship and everything, and it looks like all hope's lost. But then those two X-wing pilots come back and save them. Basically, kill the big spider, and they they able to shoot off all the other spiders. Um, and they decided to let him go because he had, um, taken some, uh, he had helped out one of the rebels, uh, in, I guess, season one. So they decided to let him go. Um, so, and then after that, they decide, uh, then once he gets the ship up and running, um, he has the, um, able, he's finally able to take off with everyone. And they're all stuck in the cockpit because, uh, the, the back was, was ripped open and they you know, they wasn't pressurized. So all in all, I thought this was a good episode. It was obviously did not it was not as good as the last episode. I thought, you know, it was kind of more of a side mission episode. Uh, but I thought that all the characters were really good. Um, I like the I like that frog lady because even though she was speaking like a little different language, there, she definitely had parts of her manny in here where she's trying to protect her young, you know, protect her eggs. And then when she was talking to Mando with the with the droids help, uh, you tell that she that's what she cared about. She cared about honor. She cared about you know she just wanted to go and, and have her. And have her hatch her eggs and have her children. So that I thought she, I thought that was a really well done character. Star Wars is good that like even with alien creatures you can kind of find bits of humanity in them. So I thought that was really well done. So all in all, I mean yeah, this is definitely not the best episode of the season. I can see how people would be critical of it and say it's more of a forgettable episode. It's kind of a filler, somewhat of a filler episode. But I like how each one of these is kind of a little bit standalone. So um, so overall. I, I, I thought it was pretty decent, so I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he can drop her off, that frog lady, and they can get on to his main mission of finding other Mandalorians and finding uh, his, the baby Yoda's uh, home planet, you know, to finally, you know, get him off, off his, uh, you know, get him off his case. So, all in all, I thought it was a decent episode, so, and the special effects are always great as always, so uh, I'm looking forward to the next episode, and uh, we'll see what uh, happens from there. So if uh, so, thank you guys for tuning in. And if you've seen, if you've already seen the episode, uh, be sure to uh, uh, comment and uh, comment below. And of course, this was a spoiler up review, so if you haven't seen it yet, don't. Yeah, sorry to say, don't watch this, but I'll put that in the comments. Uh, so anyway, once again, thank everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And then uh, we'll see you next week for episode number three. Thanks.